Hello, this is our first tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test your REST web service uh, using Fedora. Okay, guys, first of all, make sure your REST service is up and running in your Go Chrome or whatever browser you're using, and then open Fedora. If you don't have Fedora, there are gonna be a link in the description from where you can download it. And so now let's start with the testing. First, let's test our get method. When you go to the browser, uh, you copy this. This is the URL to your web service. So you copy it and you paste it here. And now you go to your uh, REST service in Visual Studio and uh, you check what is your URI template here so you write uh, this URI template uh, next to your URL so like this catches and now you click execute here you can see that the uh, result is 200 which means that uh, it is successful and when you double click on it, you can see that it returns me all the objects that uh, they need to return. So then you go to Composer again. If you want to get a catch by a specific ID, you can go here and check out those again. You need to write catches with a specific ID so it can get the ID from the database. So for example, let's write one and you click execute again and it says again result 200 which means it's successful and it returns only the first object in the database if you want to test how to post and to insert a new, a new object in the database we need to go again to composer but this time we need to have a body because when you post you need to have uh, the object that you need to post inside the database so to get that body, go back to inspectors, go to row and just copy this so you know what is the JSON format of your object and put, paste it here. Then change this method to post. And here you can change your information so about location, name and so on. And in the headers, we need to write what is the content type of um, our post method so it is application JSON so you write that in the header and here you can see what is the URI per post see here it's post and the URI is just catches so we delete the one here and click execute and you can see it's again successful and it returns one which means it's successful now uh, if we go um, to get everything we can see that we have the new um, object here at the last position which we didn't have last time okay so now if you want to update an existing object into your database uh, you have to go to composer it's almost the same as post so you need again a request body and um, we put the method to put because that is the update uh, method and uh, if you see here uh, in the update catch we have catches with id and that ID is because the database needs to know which uh, object to update. So if we, if we write uh, one here, and let's make sure that uh, our name is Alex. We change it. I don't know to Gosha, for example, and make sure that uh, the content type application JSON is still in your headers. So now when you uh, click execute, you see it's successful and it returns JSON1, which means that it has changed the information to the database. If you go back to Composer and you want to check, check if it's true, 
how to get remove that and just get the first one in the database so we see if its name is Gosho yeah you see here we change the, the name and if you want to delete first uh, go again to composer on the methods you put you make delete and for example you want to delete the first one so you click execute and again the JSON is space one which means it's deleted and if you want to go and check if it is go to get and delete the one so you can get all the catches and then you click here again to see everything everything is returned and you can see that ID number one is missing here so it was deleted thank you for watching I hope uh, this video was helpful and see you in next time. Models,